In this video, we will learn how to show text on image when hovering using Elementor and CSS. Start by opening your Elementor page and create a grid. I'm using a two column section and you can use three, four columns, one column, depending on your layout. Next, go and insert an inner section in one of the columns. I won't be needing two columns, so I will just delete one. The next thing we want to do is to apply a background to our column. So select the column and in style, go to background, classic, and choose your image. I will just style it a little bit, I will give it a size cover and position center center. In the advanced panel, I want to give it a certain height, so go to the custom CSS field. This field is available only with Elementor Pro. If you're using a free version, you can achieve the same effects using a plugin such as simple custom JavaScript and CSS, and you can enter all your CSS code there. I will just type here selector. And I will write height, let's say 40 pixels. Now go back to style. I want to apply an, a color overlay on this background once I put my mouse on it. So below background, you have background overlay. And if you go to hover, go to background type, classic, and select your color. I want dark overlay, almost black. So I will choose my color, set the opacity to, let's say, 0.7 and the transition duration I will put to 1.2 seconds. Now you can see that on hover, this image gets this dark overlay. This will create a nice dark background and enough contrast for our text to show once we hover on this image. Now let's insert our text. Now let's insert our text. Now let's insert our text. Use a text editor widget and place it inside this inner column. I will type my text here, let's say overlay, and let's style it a little bit. I will put it in the center, give it a white color, and I will make it just a little bit bigger and thicker. I don't like this spacing after my text, so in order to fix it, I will go to the advanced panel, custom CSS field, I will type here selector and P for paragraph and then I will just type margin bottom zero. This will help me get rid of this spacing after paragraph. Next thing I want to do is position this text centrally in this column. In order to do that, I will select my column that contains this text editor widget and if you are looking at your navigator panel, on the right side, which you can actually see if you just click, uh, right click on your Elementor canvas and click on a navigator. And as you can see, this is our structure. We have this left column that contains an inner section and this inner section contains another column with a text editor widget. So right now we are editing this column, this inner column that contains the text editor widget. So click on this column and in the advanced panel, go to custom CSS. So we are now editing this inner column that contains our text editor widget. Now go to the advanced panel and in custom CSS, type selector. And first I want to give it a height, a height that will be the same as our background height, which was 400 pixels. And then I want to center my text in this column. In order to do that, go back to Layout and in Vertical Align, select Middle. Click on Update. And now the main part, which is to make text appear only on Hover. In order to do that, select the inner column that contains the text editor widget. Go to the Advanced panel again, Custom CSS. And what we want to do here is set the opacity to the selector to zero. Now you can see that the text disappeared because this will be the normal state. We want to activate the opacity and set it to one once we put our mouse on this column, which means that we will, we will now type selector and hover. So now we are editing the hover state and we will set the opacity to one. 
So now you can see that if I put my mouse on the image, text appears. However, it is very quickly changing. I want to make this transition just a little bit smoother. So in order to do this, I will go back to the selector and I will type here transition duration and set this to two seconds. Set this to actually 1.2 seconds because that is a transition duration that we set to our background overlay. And now you can see that we enabled this nice and smooth text transition. Click on update. The last thing I want to do is to get rid of these paddings in my outer column. So I will just select my column here that contains the background, go to the advanced panel and set the padding to zero. Click on update and let's preview our page. You can now see that if I put my mouse on the image, text appears and the animation is smooth. We can control the timing, we can control how long the transition will be, we can control the color of the overlay and there you go. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment below.